बसमीम् अलकम वेलकम बैक टू दी गॉज व्यू ट्यूटोरियल्स सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ वेरी स्पेशल थिंग समाइम्स इट इज़ डिज़ायर दैट यू रन अ कैलकुलेशन ऑन ऑन अ डबल जीटा बेसिस एट बिकॉज ऑफ द लार्ज साइज ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल एंड देन यू वॉन्ट टू Uh, calculate its single point energy using a a better quality like a triple zeta basis set or higher so what is the strategy there there can be different strategies like you optimize the structure first and then after you you have optimized the structure then you take that optimized structure make a new file and uh, you uh, create a new calculation with the triple zeta basis set or there can be another strategy uh that is the uh, you uh, you calculate the double zeta basis set optimized molecule like this one so this molecule is uh, optimized you can see at def2 svp basis set that's a double zeta basis set now I want to optimize. I want to calculate its single point energy using a triple zeta quality basis set. That is def to T Z V P. What can I do from here when when I already have the double zeta optimized molecule? So this calculation is definitely run on a cluster computer, and uh, if you run if you open the input file, you can see that it had a checkpoint file. which is saved on the cluster computer so what can we do we can make use of that checkpoint file and then create a new file from it so that will save us a lot of time um, for that what i will do is i'll just uh, make a copy of that file paste here and then i can rename it that it's a single point energy calculation So now I'll not insert the structure again in this file. What I will do is I'll ask the software to read the structure and the molecular orbitals which have already been calculated from the previous checkpoint file. So that will save us uh, a lot of time because it will not make a random guess of the orbitals and then try to optimize those orbitals. So what I'll do is here is I'll just delete this structural information in the file. I'll keep the charge and the multiplicity at the moment and then I can say that this is the title uh, single point energy of this complex. I can say optimized so i'll keep the checkpoint file name the same because it will read from that file so the file name should be same in the route card i'll remove the opt keyword because i'm not going to optimize now and then i'll change the basis set so it was def2 svp now i am going to add def2 tzvp so it it is going to use a higher basis set and then the functional everything whatever you want you can keep it here we just need to change one more thing so it said geom is equal to connectivity it means the geometry information will be read from the connectivity data presented here we already deleted the connectivity data now we'll tell the software to read the geometry from the checkpoint file so we'll write geom is equal to check now it's going to read the optimized structure from the checkpoint file and then uh, we say guess is equal to read that will mean that the molecular orbitals will be read from the checkpoint file and it will not randomly guess them so the guess will be read from the molecule this checkpoint file as well now i can click save and then just run this uh, input file in the same folder where this checkpoint file is located remember that if you don't run it in the same folder it is going to give an error that this checkpoint file does not exist so better run it in the same folder where this checkpoint file is present it will read the structure and molecular orbitals from that checkpoint file and then 
do a single point energy calculation on the higher basis set and then save all the information again in the same checkpoint file. So that's how you do it. There is one more way like if I wanted to uh, run the uh, optimization and then calculate the single point energy in the same calculation I could have done that open this input file. So that was the input file. What I could have done that when this optimization calculation finishes I can I can come to the end of this uh, input file leave a blank line and then write dash dash link one dash and here I can write down all this data. I can write the name of the same checkpoint file and then geom is equal to check guess is equal to read. So now what the software is going to do it is going to perform this optimization calculation at first when this optimization calculation completes it will look at the end of the file if the, it is empty then it will say okay the calculation is completed but when it will uh, look for the link one it will say that oh there is something else to do so it will move forward and then see that you want to read that checkpoint file and calculate the single point energy on that so it will also calculate the single point energy and you will get a log file with two calculations in it one optimization using a double zeta basis set the other one would be a single point energy using a triple zeta basis set. So that's how you can do it in one file but as I have already done the calculation and the optimization calculation so I'm just making this uh, single point energy calculation separately. So these are two different methods by which you can uh, use uh, this kind of method that calculate the optimization at one basis set level and then uh, um, compute the single point energy at a higher basis set or even you can calculate NMR other properties whatever you want by using these link one commands you can use these link one commands to join different uh, files together different calculations together so they will run one after the other um, and complete and then you will get the log file with all those results so that was all about uh, these kind the kind of calculations i hope you you liked it and you your information got increased with this video if you liked it then uh, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and you can share it with your friends thank you very much we'll see you in the next video